The Temptop PMD351 is a handheld dust monitor designed to provide solutions for on-site monitoring and single-point data collection applications. Measuring PM1.0, PM2.5, PM4.0, PM10, and total suspended particulates, it is widely used in applications such as industrial hygiene, point source location monitoring, indoor and outdoor air quality monitoring, engineering verification purposes, etc. The PMD351 includes the PMD351 unit, RS-232 cable, AC charging cable, adapters, filter, user manual, carrying case, and a flash drive. We will now introduce how to operate the PMD351. Hold the power button for two seconds to turn on the device. After initialization, the status will show waiting, which means it's ready to work. Click the play button to start measuring. It will take about one minute to get the real-time reading of all the particle sizes. Click up or down to switch the main view between them. Click the menu button to access settings. From this menu, you can do the system settings, calibrations, check the data history, and check for the system version. In the system settings, we can set the time, the baud rate, and the language. Set the correct time. The baud rate can be switched between 9600, 19200, and 115200. The monitor currently just supports English and Chinese. In the calibration page, we can run the zero calibration, the k-factor calibration, and the flow calibration. Zero calibration. Before we run the zero calibration, remove the intake cover and install the filter. Click OK to start the calibration. This calibration will take approximately 30 seconds. After the calibration is completed, remember to remove the filter and replace the cover. K-Factor Calibration The K-Factor Calibration mode is used to adjust the reading by changing the coefficient, which ranges from 0.1 to 9.9. .9. Flow Calibration Before we run the flow calibration, remove the intake cover and connect the flow meter. Click OK to start the calibration. Click up and down to adjust the value until the flow meter indicates 2.83 liters per minute. After calibration is completed, click OK to save and exit the page. Remember to remove the flow meter and replace the cover. The history interface allows data query, download, and deletion. We can access the data by searching the appropriate month.
If you want to download the data, connect the flash drive, and the device will check if the connection is ready. Then click Download to export the historical data to the flash drive. It will appear as an Excel file in the flash drive, which is convenient to do further analyses. You have the ability to delete the data by month or the complete list. The firmware version could be checked on the system information interface. After continuous use for a period of time or in a highly polluted scenario, the filter element will become dirty, which will affect the filtration performance and thus the measurement accuracy. The filter element should be replaced regularly. Number one, turn off the device. Number two, Use a coin or U-shaped screwdriver to remove the filter cover on the back of the device. Number three, replace the old filter element with a new one. If necessary, flush the filter tank with compressed air before. Number four, replace the filter cover. Thank you for watching.